Hello everyone, what's up? This is Daniel and here today guys I'm gonna teach you on how to make sidebars on Mac and how to put them onto your video. First things first, um but this is only for Pokemon videos only. So if you think about some other videos like like Minecraft or something like that, no 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 no. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. Alright. So first things first. Um you have to need paintbrush and you're also gonna need screen flow, which is at the bottom here. Because that's the only way how you can add um you know the sidebars. All right. So next so next thing is, uh we're gonna need we're gonna need a background. Luckily, I found a background, and um and uh and there you go. So the image size for this is gonna be six four six forty width times four hundred eighty height. So let's press cancel here. And then now we're gonna go and press com Control V or Command V to make it a cool dark green gradient background for our Pokemon videos. Next up is going to be for the hold on, let me see something here. Okay, there we go. Next up is gonna be for the windows. Now the video is gonna have some windows, so let's put it to dark here. There we go. I wanna put it on dark just to make it look more cooler. Or maybe we should put it on dark green. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, dark green's okay. Yeah, there you go. All right. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make like a a, a big enough window for the video for everyone to see the video. So let's put it like that. Okay. Yeah, I think that's a good enough window. Yeah, that's big enough. And then um, next we're gonna uh, what next are we gonna do? Um, and then we're gonna make the the vid the windows for the team. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this right here. We're gonna make like six windows. This is for the first teammate. This is for the second teammate. This is for the third teammate. Okay. And so on. I don't want I don't feel like saying the rest. Fourth teammate. Okay. You have to make it at least like the exact same because if it looks kind of weird and like because if one window's big and the other windows are small, it wouldn't even make no sense. And then this one is for the fifth. And last but not least, this one's gonna be for the sixth teammate and last teammate. Alright. So now we got six windows for our team and a window for our video. Now let's go make the badges. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, so, so next we're gonna have eight windows, eight small windows, in small enough for the badges to fit. So we're gonna have this one, the first badge. This one's gonna be the second badge. This one's for for the third badge. Um, fourth, and it goes so on. Then it goes to fifth, and six. Just two more, and then we're done. Um, seven, and. Eight. Okay, so there you go. You got eight slots right there. And now all we need to do is just um put in the the words. So we're gonna put in. Hold on, let me just put in a uh, black. There we go. So we're gonna put in some words. Change the font to twenty four. I think I believe. Then we're gonna put in. We'll change the font to impact. Oh, yeah, impact. Yeah, that's good. Then we're gonna put this. We're gonna call this Pokemon Emerald. Maybe we should put it a little bit more bigger. Thirty-six. Emerald. Or maybe we should put it in all caps. Yeah, putting it in all caps is good. Makes it more cooler. 
There we go. Place it right there. Place it right above the video window. And then we're going to put in another word that says team. And we're going to put that in the middle. Team. Place. And we're going to put that right there. And then we're going to put badges right here. There you go. Now, just to make it more fancy, let's put in some um, some pictures. So let's look up uh, Ray Quasar or something like that. I think that's what his name is. Yeah, there we go. Quasar. Now, we're going to need it for something that's not too big, but just big enough. So I think, nah, I don't think that's big. Actually, yeah, let's try that. Let's try this one. This looks cool. All right, so we're going to copy that image. Paste it right there. If we're gonna put this as um oh, whoops. Okay, so the trick to this is, if you have like a JPG file or a PNG file, it will not work. I mean, well, it will it will work for PNG, but it will not work for JPG or or anything like that. So we need to find a PNG file. So hopefully this one's yep, yeah, this one's a PNG file. So we're gonna copy this. And we're going to paste it into there. And look. Thing is cut off. So it looks like it's cool enough. And then let's put it like right here. Yeah, that looks cool. And then we're going to put in a subscribe button somewhere around here. Just just small enough for it to, to fit in between. So let's look for a subscribe button. Okay. Subscribe button YouTube okay let's see if this is small enough yeah that looks small yeah that's small enough all right let's go to full size image now it may seem that oh okay that that's that's cool that's good with me all right <laughs> no that's way too big okay we need to find something more smaller that's too big too big too big. Um, come on now. Too big. Too big. Uh, <laughs> it's really starting to get on my nerves. Yeah, that is cropped the wrong way. Um, yeah, that ain't bad. That ain't bad. Um, but we need a PNG. Frick. It has to be a PNG file. It always has to be a PNG file so that way it can... Um, so when it has a white transparent background, you can put it as transparent and it can you know fit. Um but sadly I'm not look I can't find any. So I guess this will do a little bit, I guess. Sorry. I guess that I have to do. So let's put it like Sally, you can't minimize it. So if you have any images that you want to minimize, you can't minimize it on paintbrush, sadly. But forget about the subscribe button. Let's look up the team. So I'm going to put in some random team members. Like, um, so I'm going to do Pokemon, em since I'm doing Pokemon Emerald, and I, only, and I already have part two up, let's look up um, Torchic. So I believe I have Torchic as my um, as my teammate. All right. So we're going to look up Torchic Sprite, and we're going to uh, have it on to our team. So always take some pictures from PokeAmph because it looks more cooler. And stuff like that. It's much or better. So let's go back to paintbrush and paste it there. Now this is the problem here. If you look right here, whatever thing that is white, it gets transparent with the background. So we don't want no torture with green eyes. That looks that looks kind of freaky and it's kind of weird too. So let's pick a white color. There we go. And then we're gonna color these in with white. Come on. Alright, hold on. Let me just zoom in here more. Okay. I'm going to color the rest with white. Whoa, okay. That's way too much. Um, let's put the stroke up to one. There we go. That's much better. Now, let's go to actual size. And there you go. You got yourself the Torchic. Now, I believe I did not catch a Pokemon yet. So, let's keep it as that. Now, we're going to save this picture as a PNG file. We're gonna and I'm gonna put this uh, no not JPG PNG 
and we're gonna put this as tutorial sidebar we're gonna call it as that save it as that and there you go you got your sidebar now how to add on to screen flow that's the problem or that's the that's the real actual question so you're gonna start with ScreenFlow. You're gonna add a new doc, new empty document, or if you finish recording, then okay. So then, what you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to this right here, this button. And you're gonna to go to Add Media. Now you're gonna to go to Tutorial Sab um, Sidebar, and you're gonna press Open. There you have your Tutorial Sidebar right there in your media for your document, and then you're gonna add the picture right there. Now you're gonna zoom. Then you're gonna mat. Then you're gonna add the. Then, then what you're gonna do is, you're gonna uh, you're gonna add this right here. As you can see, you're gonna maximize it like that. So then you're gonna make it much more longer. Put it up to like one minute, just enough. I don't know. So then we're gonna find a video which I already made and I'm gonna put it on desktop. It's gonna be a small video. It doesn't matter. Okay? Then we're gonna add this right here. Just drag it. For some apparent reason it's not moving. Okay. And then we're gonna minimize this. Okay. You follow me? <laughs> I'm pretty sure you are. Because I know you guys are probably excited for Mac. Okay. Now it seems kind of off because the, the window is not. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, let's add a little bit more. Oh, uh, whatever. As long as it fills up the screen. As long as it fills up the window, it's good. It's good. Okay. That looks cool enough. So. Now what we're going to do is we're going to uh going to put this to where the the sidebar is or at least maximize the sidebar to where the video is. All right. So there you go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the video and see how good it is. I'm going to put it to maximize. And that looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks pretty good. It looks like looks good enough and the reason why there is no commentary in the video is mostly because I use my iPhone as a microphone so they're based so basically the video which is this and the microphone audio is basically different files so I had to do a whole bunch of stuff I had to use iTunes you know to sync in with the, with the video and stuff like that so this is on how to add you know this is on how to make your very own sidebar and add it onto your videos. Now, if you want to do a Mac, like if you want to do it with iMovie, then I don't know how you're gonna do it with iMovie because I tried with iMovie before and it really, really did not work. So, if you really want to figure out how to do it with iMovie, then good luck. But I have ScreenFlow and I have the serial. So, if you ever ask me for a serial for ScreenFlow, then I will definitely give it to you because I know you guys probably gonna need it. So, thanks for watching, guys. Um, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys later. And don't forget to click that subscribe button. Goodbye.